One of the great things about ProPresenter 7 is just how much flexibility you have. So right now we're looking at my um, system preferences, more specifically the displays tab and arrangement. You'll notice I've got my main control screen. I've got another screen here, that one's 720p, and then I have this one which is really wide. And the reason it is, is this is my Matrox dual head to go. Now in ProPresenter 6, you needed a dual head or triple head to go in order to use multi-screen module. In Pro 7, you can use the multiple outputs if you want, or you could use a dual head to go, triple head to go, data path X4, quad head to go, any number of options to split up um, the output of your display. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to use a dual head to go, but a triple head to go, etc. will all work the same way. So first off, you need to make sure that that's plugged in and your computer sees it as the larger than it actually is screen uh, that it does. Then what we're going to do is uh, go into screen configuration. And in this example, I could add two different audience screens. I could uh, add one as uh, an edge blended one. But just to show you some interesting things that you can do with 7 that you can do with Pro 6, I'm going to add one of them as a audience screen and one as a stage screen. So first I'm going to click on this and select this display, which is my dual head to go. Notice it's 1280 times 2, so it's double wide, and then 720 high. So I'm going to select that, and I could just leave it like this if I had a reason to, but I don't. Um, you might think, oh, well, I'm going to want it grouped or something like that. No, you want to keep this as single, but go down here to where it says Output Target and change that from full to 2 by 1. So that's 2 wide, 1 high. So we're going to change that. And now you'll notice we've got this new alignment box. So... It could be that I wanted to add the one on the right, but in this case I'm going to start with the one on the left, and um, that's pretty much ready to go. I'm going to change its name here, just so that it makes sense. Uh, left DH2 Go, just so that I know which is which. Now to show you that I can add a stage screen as part of a dual head to go or triple head etc. I'm going to add here, select the exact same thing and let me show you what happens. When you do that it says wait something's wrong. That's the something's wrong icon. That's the scientific term for it. Something's wrong. And what it's saying is this conflicts with the uh, left dual head to go because I'm already using part of it here, and as it is, it's saying, hey, you're using the whole thing, and that's because output target is set to full. Again, go back to 2 by one like I did earlier. You'll notice it still says that, and that's because right now, this is the same as this. But what we want is the right-hand side, so I'm going to click, uh, click that. So if I had... A triple head I'd have three choices and I would have uh, selected three by one so I select that the something's wrong icon goes away and I'm ready to go again I'm gonna rename this just so that it makes sense to me right D H to go so now I have the an audience screen as part of the dual head to go and a stage screen as the other part of the dual head to go. And just to show you what I'm doing further, let's close that and we'll notice that I have this as an audience preview. So let's uh, just put up some lyrics just for fun. So that works perfectly fine there. And if I go right I might have to change the um, 
layout, which I can do, of course, up in here under sc uh, screens. And instead of the blank one, let's go for the default one. Click on it again. Okay. So now we see that the right dual head to go is a stage screen in Pro 6 called a stage display. And the left one is a, an audience screen. So that's how you add a dual head to go, triple head to go, etc. And make it do some interesting things in ProPresenter 7.